Yubi, go well, my brother, my friend, gossiper in chief. The one who opened his big arms and ample shoulders to hold me, to gather me, to celebrate me. When I come up for air, I will have the grace to feel blessed that life had chosen me and your friends to call you a friend. It is not a gift that I will take for granted. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank the family for sharing him with us. For whatever it is you instilled in him, this country, this world has been so enriched by his presence here. At these moments of such unspeakable grief, the right thing to do is to be with people who love the person that you are mourning. Because in the last two hours, I have felt edified. I have felt that in our collective grief, I am also seen and I'm with you. And perhaps the last week of isolation was necessary to be in silence, to be reflective. But this too has been healing to be with all of you. So thank you. He had epilepsy since 2008. He had been hospitalized before, but none of us thought there will be that one moment where it becomes fatal. It wasn't the vaccine. So take heart, take courage, and face life with grace and dignity.